Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to a special episode of the Casual Report. I don't even going to bother doing the numbers anymore. Um, Furniture's on the show. James, special guest. He's only got the biggest day of his life tomorrow. James Bainbridge is on the show. Bainbridge, I'll start with you. How are you? Terrible. Why? You're here. This is my show, Matt. Well, our show, I should say. <laughs> Terrible, you're here. What have you been up to, Bainbridge? I'm just chilling on Facebook, mate. I'm just scrolling through some reels. You know how it is. That isn't how it is. Is that okay? Is that better, Babe? When well, I ask you what you've, what you've been doing, I mean, I don't. I'm not asking you if you're scrolling through Facebook. I'm asking you what games you've been playing. Uh, it's a video game podcast, not a scrolling through Facebook. Uh, scrolling through Facebook podcast. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't know. I feel like a pretty similar. But if you must know, I've been playing through the Batman Arkham games. Have you? Mate. Have you? Are we talking from Asylum through City through Origins and through Night? Yeah. Origins, Asylum, City, then Night. But yeah. Yeah. Which is your favourite? There's a right and wrong answer here. Uh, definitely Night is my favourite. But City uh, is a close second. Okay, that's completely wrong. Jam, tell him what, what his favourite should be. Uh, Arkham Asylum. Thank you. Um. Why did you like Night? So I never played Night because it had troubles when it came out, and I was like, I get to it later, and later never came. Why did you like Night so much? The gameplay is just so much smoother. Playable characters are more diverse. It's simply wonderful. Is it wonderful? And did you know, it is. Jam, Arkham what? Knight um, has a character that is an original character. You'll never guess who it is. You'll never get it. Arkham Knight has Arkham Knight is not Batman. I know that. Yeah, but there's an original character in that game that isn't that is like from that game, not any comic book. You'll never get oh, it. Is it? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, do you know what the character is? You'd be shocked. No. It's Arkham Knight. It's a trick question. Jason for that. Todd made the original Robin. I didn't know that because I'm not playing no, the game. Wait no, the second Robin, sorry, I'm going to get haters for Oh, that. yeah. Yeah, because uh, thousands of people watch this, Bainbridge, and they're all going to come with the pitchforks over to your house, mate. They, they might do, cool. mate. I, mate, I'm on the show. You're going to get tons of views. It's going to be a most viewed uh, video the, uh, going. To be fair, I've not tweeted it, actually. That's a good point. Um, we get about two views from there. Don't worry. Bainbridge, so... Okay. Have you been playing anything else? Or watching anything else? Or doing anything else with your time? Mm -hmm. Not, not really. Not really. As you know, I've been collecting the Marvel figures, but that's why. Yeah, how's the Marvel figurines going? Uh, let me do a quick delivery today. Uh, was, it, was it today? Uh, I've got a couple. I mean, I've got my desk here. Uh, 6, 10, 12, and then uh, 15, 18, 20, 22, 25. Uh, Why have you got that money? Wait a minute. It was 36. I've got 42 at the moment, mate. Oh. you have to round it up to 50. You will, mate. It's nearly Christmas. It is nearly Christmas. Not what I'm saying. So, uh, you know. Little legend Finn might buy me one, who it knows. Might. I'm speaking of Finn. <laughs> no, we're good. Um, yeah, you've been playing Mario Kart. Yes, you, you know that I have. And you know I have to act like I don't night. know for the fucking... For the... Doesn't matter. How has that been going? You got Terrible. better yet? No. <laughs> Can't get any better than the best, mate. Where's that? It is, uh, jam. It is obviously Jam. Um, yeah. Have you been playing Skyrim for the 70,000th time? Not for a couple of months, but I didn't mm. play it this year. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, wonderful, mate. Jam. Mm. Yeah. How are you, mate? I'm alright. You're alright. Um, yeah, I'm alright. What have you been up to? I've been playing the greatest video games of all time. But you haven't. Well, go on. Resi 4, finish that. See, but, sorry, it was just... A <laughs> Sorry. Bainbridge, I already know the answer yeah. to this question, but I ask it anyway for the show, mate. Uh, 
You know what I mean? Sorry, Jam, go on. Yeah, so Smash, finished Resident Evil 4, finished mm -hmm. Spider Man. Now I'm doing Hot Wheels Unleashed 2. How's that? Because I like the first one. Great. No, it's, it's like. It's. I'll describe it. This is. Because the first one. Mm -hmm. Is all just on the orange tracks. Yeah. Like the, the classic toy tracks. Has it spread its thing. wings, has it? This one spread its rings. This one is on the toy tracks, but integrates with real world. Like, so. It's basically micro machines. Okay, that's cool. That's and really it's cool. added a few more mechanics, like you can side about this. and you can, you can physically about jump. This, yeah. So um, you can do races in it that aren't that aren't like they don't give you edges or anything like that. They just give you waypoints. Oh, and you okay. find your way there in the races. Like the tour tracks like, in Mario Kart. Yeah, if you're in a garden or you're in a museum. It's like there's an arrow. It's like it's that way, mate. Like ah, oh, yes, yeah. yes, in a bit. But yeah, it's really cool when like sideswiping people because you have to hit a checkpoint. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll reverse back. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's no auto, like respawn. You have to re manually respawn. So if you miss it, you got to hold R one to respawn back. So it doesn't <coughs> look like Mario Kart. So not, like, not like it. who's just coming, grabbing you with the thing. You've got nope. to do it yourself. Okay. Got to do it yourself. That's, really, that's decent, that is, mate. And uh, but yeah, side swiping people's fun because you can just knock them straight off the off of course, off the course, mm -hmm. and it sends them like all the way back. Is there a jump button, you said? Is that right? There is, there is a jump button. That, that, oh, yeah. I was thinking about this the other day. That sort of changes the dynamic of the game, I think, because you'd be, like, yeah. bouncing around. Like, if you can get that right, I think that'd be cool. If it's... But no, it's... You, you, again, it's one of them things... You, so, you, you get boost so in the game. You have to have boost to be able to jump, so it takes a pop bit of your boost. So, oh. if there's a lip coming up, yeah. and you haven't got boost, you're either going to hit this lip and then respawn back with a bit of boost... Or if there's no lip, you're just gonna fall off. There's an added bit of strategy behind it, mate. You know what I'm saying? It's it's great. It's, it's yeah. so good. Cool. Anything like, else? I'm not even joking. If that if that if they got a mode like mm -hmm. if they like a, a, a items in it. Yeah. Like between all of us, we'll be playing it. Like we, we can play it like Mario Kart, and it'd just be just as fun. Oh, don't say that. It doesn't have items though. But if they did, it's like that'd be quite cool. Yeah. A bit like rocket launches and shit. Yeah, and but it, it gets manic guns. when like, all the cars are together, like side swiping everyone out of the way and stuff. That'd be cool. It's fun. That would be cool. James. Yeah. You can do anything one? else? Not when I say James, I mean Jam. You're Bainbridge always. Be quiet. Obviously. Um. And Mario Wonder on my Switch. Is the greatest I haven't game finished it yet, But I'm doing that on my lunch like at Bloody work. Bloody good, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it's really good. It's bloody good. Mm -hmm. What about to say? World 3. I know what you're saying, mate. <coughs> it's wonderful. Hey -o! Anything yeah, else, cool. mate? Uh, not I can remember. Oh, mate. Oh, I've started making my hmm. game of the In year a minute. video. In a minute. I'm, I'm going to tell you about that. it, obviously. Yeah. Um, Jam, Bainbridge, ask me. What? Well, Mario Kart for one. Two, mm. I got the Platinum on the Spider Man 2. Finally. I say finally, it didn't take me that long. Um, that's bloody good, isn't it, mate? Yes. Bloody good. Um, story's a bit like, you know, like, okay, I know where this is going. And you're probably right if you're paying attention, but. Um, there's an end credits scene with a surprise guest. I'm sure you saw, Jim. What's uh, that? There might be. There might be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but no. the traversal in that game is just... It feels like Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? You just... I, I don't think I fast-travelled. What? Yes, I did. I used fast-travel quite a bit. Once, I think I used it. Because it pissed me off. Because like, I had to go all the way on the other end of the city. I'm like, nah. Like, <laughs> Imagine, like... Another studio makes a Spider-Man-ish game or a Marvel game with Spider-Man in it. Now you might, no, it's just yeah. not going to be as good. Yeah, like I mean, I, Boss I, Avengers, uh, swinging yeah. in Avengers. Mhm. Mm yeah, I mean, it'd be okay, but if Insomniac wasn't around, you, you yeah. wouldn't notice. I do the like to give but. people a bit of rope, but with that, it's like I can't imagine a Spider-Man game better than that. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm sure one day there will be um, when the eventual sequel comes out Spider-Man 3 with 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, also, then when I did that, went straight, pretty much straight into Resident Evil 4 remake, which is when it was announced, there was like, how do you remake perfection? And it's like, this is how you remake perfection. Yeah. It's just. Oh, <laughs> it is. Bloody good, mate. It's. It's so good. Like, it, it's one of them, it, it plays exactly how I think I remember it. It, like, it's exactly but if I was to go I back, I promise you. I've not played it again for about six, seven years, but I promise you, pfft, forget it, mate. Oh, uh, it's the same with the graphics. Like this yeah. feels, this looks exactly like I remember it. Yeah, it doesn't. And I, I, I do watch a lot of footage of Resident Evil Four, so I knew that much. But <laughs> so I, I just, it's like when I played uh, Commander. <laughs> I'm like, mm. this is how I exactly remember it, and then you switch back to the old graphics, which you can, and I gave me like, oh, yeah, oh, oh. right, oh. Yeah, that, that that that's the um, the best remakes do that I think. Um, they did change the voice actor for the uh, obviously for the what are you buying? Mm-hmm. Uh, which is off putting at first, but with the sort because of, it's even early on in that game now it's more night time when that game starts it's the day and it feels like it's not bright and sunny but it's you know what I mean a bit yeah. a bit more tongue in cheek but gone. now the the the, mer- the mercenary the fucking what's it merchant sorry he's fucking a bit, a bit more down to earth with his uh, deliveries of his lines which I guess is probably the right decision but um, the shady peddler the yeah, Bainbridge exactly. calls him. <laughs> he is the shady peddler I got some rare things on sale stranger mm-hmm. I could have done that by the way I think most people could have done that have. Um, <sighs> what did we watch I think we watched some but I forgot no oh. Yeah, we're doing a yearly rewatch of the Pirates of the Caribbean films. We've done all three. The next one is At World's End. Um, we, we just watched um, Jam, Bainbridge, one of you. Ask me, say to me, Jack Sparrow sent me to settle his debt. Jam, I'll let you do the honours. No, you can do it. Do it. What am I saying again? Jack Sparrow s- sent me to settle his debt. Jack Sparrow sent me to settle his, his debt. Did he know? <laughs> Bill Nye is tremendous in that film. Bill Nye's great. In Fucking man. Yeah. I'm a bit annoyed as well because I, I did buy um, At World's End on PC, but it's the PS2 version and it doesn't work on my computer. I think it's too new. The PC is too new, not the game. Is it just the sure game what abandoned away now? You, you can, it is on Abandonware, so I may acquire it um, and then just um, the E-word. stream it. Um, you know. Mm-hmm. All legally, you know what I'm saying? What are you saying? Uh, yeah, so. I'm, apparently, that game, you know, is pretty good. But speaking of good games, um, next Wednesday. Ew, no, it's not. Is it? Uh, but it's Thursday. Thursday, I beg your pardon. Likely the next stream, what we'll see, because I'm off next week, um, is the Casual Report Game of the Year, episode 2023. Get your votes in hot, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's a fucking link somewhere. John, have you got it? I know you haven't, Bainbridge. In this chat somewhere. Oh, oh chat mate, I've got it. Don't worry, mate. If you want to vote and you're in the chat, it's there. Um, I'll put it in the description, YouTube, if you're watching. I'll whack it everywhere. Give me your top games. No more than ten, please. Put it in the spreadsheet. Ascend. Boom. There you go. Um, the way it works, your number one game will have ten points. Number two, nine. Three, eight. So on to number ten having a point. Um, if you do want to just... If you played a game this year that's like fucking mint and you've not really played anything else, just write one game down and I'll give it 10 points for you. Do you know what I'm saying? What are you saying? Good. Jam. What? How's your list coming, mate? I've got an order. I've got an order. Is this. You're happy with it? No, but I've got an order. You've got. Okay, you've done it so it's ish. Uh, you've got a. No, no, no. So the order. What I've got will be it. Oh, okay. Um, You're happy I'm with just, number like, one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, again, though, but like it's it's more like two, three, and four, and that. But it's 
do I enjoy that one over the other one? Is that the same? I don't know. It's just, I don't know. But I've got, I've got my order. Cool, cool. It is, a, it is a bit spicy at the top. I'll tell you that from what I've seen. Uh, I try not to look too much because I like to fucking, I like to bring it in. Oh you know my I mean? Jesus Lord! What? Is, is I have it scored again. Again. As a as a soccer player, Bainbridge mate. A soccer. A soccer ball. Um, yeah. That yeah. That, so eight days to go. Get your votes in, and then that'll uh, that's the only game of the year show you need to watch that day. You don't need to watch anything else. I'm joking, Jeff. Chill out, mate. What the fuck is Jeff that? Be fuming at you, mate. Hey, he's gonna be buzzing with me, mate. Um, the reason I say <sighs> there's likely gonna be a rebirth trailer that Game Awards show as well, so expect a analysis thereafter. I'd say so anyway, but whatever. Moving on, Jam, Bainbridge. Yes. Yes. Some anniversaries today. It is. PS4 is ten, and Wii U is eleven. <sighs> remember the Wii U? Of course you don't, because you have. I remember the Wii U. No, you don't, mate. Um, yeah. I I can't believe it, mate. I can, because it was a ten oh. years ago. But did you get PS4 day one, Bainbridge? I didn't. know. I know you didn't, because you you're not um you're a scrub, mate. When did you get one? Do you remember? Uh, oh god, no, you're asking. I think I got one in 2014 for my birthday. Okay, that's cool. So, like, uh, maybe a couple, nine, 11 months after something like that. No. Mm hmm. It's not. In, in the first year, that's nice. Um, which favourite PS4 game? Do you know you have one? Oh god. Oh, just, just reel me off a few you like. A few I like. Well, obviously. The remake of Skyrim, because you know, who doesn't have Skyrim? Other than remake Jack, of Skyrim. Well, yeah. Uh, again, Arkham, Arkham Knight was a good one. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I played GTA 5 for a little bit. Kind of got bored, though, but your camera's out of focus. Then I'm trying to. Just carry on. Uh, it'll, it'll tilt itself out. I played Shadow of War, that was a good game. I didn't like that. It's Lord game. of the Rings, Jim. Yeah. Uh, I know what Shadow of War is. Uh, what else do I play? I've played all sorts. It's an amalgamation of everything. Kingdom Hearts 3, obviously. obviously. Big one. The greatest Final game ever made. 7 remake. Oh. Uh, not Integrate, obviously, because I didn't have a PS5 and, you know, I, I can't be Have involved. you still not played Integrate? No, I haven't. Have you, Jim? I can't remember. No. No. Right. Uh, what else is that? Like played your flat at uh, two hours, I think. I, I played. I played a lot in my time. Played a lot in my time. It, it depends what genre. Give Give me a genre. I'll no. Name give me some games you like on the PS4. You've already done that, so I move to Jam. Jam. Let's mm -hmm. PS4 games. My favorite ones. Yeah. So, uh, Rezo Gun was my like first proper. That was my favorite PS4 heavy. game for years, mate. Yeah. Years. Um, of course, next Mac. Mac Obviously. Mac, uh, Battlefield 4 was great. That was PS3, was it, PS4. Was it great? Was, great, was yeah. it? Yes, it was. Uh, first Spider Man. But I suppose my. <laughs> just, oh, really on the nose, my favourite PS4 game that I've ever played was Rocket League. Of course it is. Of course it was. Of course it is. 2,000 hours in it on the PS4. Yeah. There's a real gamer there, Bainbridge, mate. Oh, I... I've got know, what, 1,800 hours of it on the PC. Yeah, I'll go, lads, because... I don't know. Nobody asked. Well, yours yeah. are all wrong, anyway. You're like, oh, God of War. Yeah. But so, why didn't you say that? Uncharted 4, Last of Us 2, um, Ghost, of, Ghost of Sushi, mate. Um, of like Sushi. you say, Nier Automata was PS4 game, but dish and uh, I'll leave it there Those, like you say wonderful console great library games mate um, Wii U favourite Wii U games I've done it again favourite Wii U games Smash I'm Wii smash, U you can't have Smash, smash U yeah. Smash is definitely on that yeah. Yeah. Mario Maker was Mario amazing. Maker yeah Splatoon uh, New Super Mario Bros there's probably mm. one on the Wii U 
There was one on the Wii U. It was good. There's one, that one's on the Switch as well, so... Oh, yeah, I don't really made it. Yeah, Xenoblade X. Falls on a lot on the Switch. Oh, uh, nobody's heard of Xenoblade. Everyone's heard of it, mate. Um, Dead game franchise. Bayonetta 2. Red Wine Licorice Lady. That one. <laughs> yeah, again... Red, red like, the, the first party stuff was... Was pretty good on the Wii U. It gets a bad rap, but, but the first party stuff was pretty good. Were there any Pokemon games on the Wii U? Not, not, not proper. There was, oh, was Pokemon? I feel like there was a Pokemon Snap for the Wii U. No, there wasn't. There should have been. No. There should have been. Well, I'm trying to think if there were now. On oh, Wii U, I don't think there was. But maybe one of them. Um, there's no uh, Luigi's Mansion either. No. Uh, didn't Mario Kart 8 come out on the Wii U? It, it did, did, didn't it? Yeah. 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 It's, just, it's 8 Deluxe on the Switch. Uh, huh. No Wii U games on, po on um, no Pokemon games on Wii U. Hmm, minimal. None at all. That's me I don't, not that I can see. If anyone can see any more, like, please tell me, because I'm very interested, mate. Um, yeah, but... Uh, and you could use the virtual shit better. I, I, it's cool having a subscription and everything, but you know, what I mean, I feel like it was more variety no, when you could just on. when you could just buy everything. There was more to pick from. I, I thought, but then again, it would cost yeah. you more money because uh, I think a snares game was like a fiver, which you know, charge what you want, but it is what it is, mate. Um, lads, moving on. Yeah, vote for game of year, please. I'll slap you if you don't. Uh, Black Friday sales charts. What do you think number one is, lads? This is the yes, UK five. box sales yes, last five. week. Spider Man, probably. Spider Man. Spider Man's number five. Oh, wow. No uh, new oh, entries. FIFA, probably. Oh, I'm going to read from the bottom. Number 10, up from 32, is Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Number 9, Mortal Kombat. Oh, how about the new COD game that came out recently? Is that on there? It might be yeah. on there. Uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage number 8. Nintendo Switch Sports number 7. The game that never dies. Back in the top 10. Uh, is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Spider-Man 2 at 5. 4. Mario Wonder. 3. Bainbridge. Pat yourself on the back. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Oh, 2. Wow. Knocked off the top spot from last week. Hogwarts Legacy. John, what's number 1? Call of Duty. I just said Call of Duty. <laughs> FIFA, you kid. Of course it is, mate. Uh, FIFA found its way back to the top of the UK charts this Black Friday week, pushing Hogwarts Legacy back down to two. This is Sophie McAvoy from, you've guessed it, GameIndustry.biz. Uh, the post-FIFA title saw a 101% increase in sales because it was on sale. It was like 20, 30 quid off. I can't remember exactly how much. Was that about right, wasn't it? 7% um, higher than last year's event. Um in the UK. Call of Duty is at number 3, 30% uh, drop in sales, Mario Wonder number 4, Spider-Man 2 number 5, blah blah blah. Uh, Star Wars at Jedi Survivor saw a 400% rise in sales because it was on offer on Amazon at least and it was it was probably elsewhere. Is that in your top 10 list? It probably is, I might even ask that. Don't, an don't answer what? that, I know it is. Um, what, what game did you say? Survivor, Jedi Survivor. I don't think so. You such you're a fucking liar. Shut up. Why am I a liar? Shut up. Don't come I at don't. me with these lies, mate. I do not have an opinion. I have not played it. You, uh, your opinions like uh, what was Joey saying? A moo moo point or whatever. If I can't remember. Give us talking shit. Speaking of talking shit, I've got something to show you, Jam. Gibbo sent oh. me this earlier about a game we're going to talk about. Is it some part gameplay? It might be. Jam, there you go, mate. I've already of that. I just clicked it and it disappeared. It's in Discord, you give me. Anyway, <laughs> let's have it. Uh, what's next out? Mind the brain fart. What's out next? It doesn't matter. Moving on, lads. Where did you send it to me on? Discord. The chat we're in oh, right now. Oh. So I'll, I'll get to it in a minute. But Are you talking about Tekken? It might be. Fuck off. <coughs> Excuse, oh, me. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
beg your pardon. Obviously, Gibbo likes Spartan Bash. Um, speaking of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, we are drum roll, please. No. Oh, I haven't got a fucking drum roll on me soundboard. I'm fuming. Uh, Ninety-two days away. Isn't that how old you are? Ninety-two days old. No, just ninety-two. Ninety-two. You wish I was ninety-two, mate. If I was 92, I'd still beat you at Mario Kart, you know what I'm saying? Aye. Uh, I'm sure you would. We'd be sat in an old folks on playing Mario Kart, you know it, mate. Um, moving on. Uh, lads, do we like Sega? Mm. We should Sorry. like Sega. Nah. I mean, I like the... Like, when, the when they made good games like Crazy Taxi. Yeah, no, because when... Uh, nowadays, when a game's got a Sega logo on it and it's good, it's usually not developed in the house it's usually a persona oh, or a, or a, uh, a yakuza or something you know what i'm saying or yakuza shut up sorry moving on um sega well, are crying so sorry mate you said arsenal what you... scored arsenal scored three goals in nine minutes oh wow ah. speaking of three goals united drew three three so there you go apparently they were playing well what do I know? I didn't watch it because I don't care. Um, Sonic Superstar sales impacted by Mario Sega suggests, well, it is a monumentally bigger game. So, I imagine it is. Exactly. Um, this is Ed Nightingale from Eurogamer. So Sega's admitted releasing Se Sonic Superstars at the same time Super Mario Br Brothers Wonder and Marvel Spider-Man 2 may have hindered sales. Do you think? Um, in a presentation of the company's recent financial quarterly report, sales of its mascot platform were described as having a slightly weaker start than, an, than anticipated. But you imagine with a bit of a price knock and a bit of a push over Christmas, they might do all right. Um, in a new weekly Q&A following its recent financial report, President and Group CEO Haruki Satomi, I think that's right. Fuck you, lot, mate. Probably not. Um, and Senior Executive Vice President CFO, Chief Financial Officer, Bainbridge. I can't say that one. Koichi Fukasawa. Sorry, Koichi, mate. Um, we're asked to reason lower it than expected sales so far. The bought the um, shareholders were seething, mate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so, lads, Jam, I'll ask you, because you played both Mario Wonder and Spider-Man 2 and have a excessive dislike for Sonic for some reason I haven't excessive I like the nostalgia of it but I think that's the only thing anyone likes of it really that's the first thing people say I used to play it when I was younger not the game's dead good not level design's amazing not the game feels great none of that granted they were like four or five when they played it but that's not the point yep. do you know what I'm saying it's always music oh, quite iconic I remember playing that Christmas when my mum got me like the last just, good Sonic game I played was Sonic Spinball, mate, because it, <laughs> Cause it was just um, So, someone has played Mario Wonder and Spider-Man 2. Do you think releasing a... Granted, uh, an old-school-looking Sonic game within that sort of area battered battered them, or do you think Sonic got what it deserved? Probably. You'll get your diehards that will buy it. Yeah. Cause they're, but I'd... If, if there's a casual that looks at Mario and looks at Sonic, mm -hmm. they're going to buy Mario. Obviously they're going to buy Mario, because it's a period, period franchise. Uh, Bainbridge, who do you prefer, Mario or Sonic? I am more of a Mario player than Sonic player. Right. I don't mind Sonic, but... You do mind it, Sonic. Ma ma Mario's just better, all round. Put, put, that, put that on the box of the next game. Mario's just better. Full stop. Bainbridge, well, I only think it's Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, then, not Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games. This is Mario always comes first. Very, very true. You know what I mean? Um, the Nintendo Switch exclusive, Mario, has sold 4.3 million, and Insomniac Spider Man sold over 5 million. Um, Sega hasn't released specific numbers yet for the multi platform Sonic game, though, no, the series as a whole has sold over 1.66 billion units and downloads across all games, which. Nothing to I always wonder why they keep making Sonic games because they're so shit because people keep buying them. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean that with the greatest of respect to people who like Sonic games. Cool. Phil. Yeah. Um, it's fair enough. You're going to play Sonic at school. Uh, Sega executive Osamu Ohasi. Sorry, lad. 
Um, also stated he wished Sonic to surpass Mario in an eternal interview. I promise you, that is years, lifetimes away from happening at this point. Do you know what I mean? Maybe one day when the the right people get hold of it. What? Ten points. <laughs> I can feel them. That's sure. Please do, Daddy, on the screen. Um, but it is what it is. How old are you? Never you mind. You're a gamer. Um, but yeah, do you have any ambition to buy Sonic Super? What is it called? No. Yeah, Sonic Superstars. No. You, baby. I mean, if it comes on sale for like five pound in the future, I might give it a whirl then. But you know, you may as well just say no. That's what it is. Moving on. Also, uh, there's like a quite a big financial report. I'm just going to do two things because. I ain't got time. We ain't got time to sit here. You know what I mean? We've got Mario Kart to be playing. You know what I'm saying, lads? You know. Um, I've got League to be playing. League. No, nobody plays League. I'm no. only in about half ten. So oh. I probably can't get some Mario Kart. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll be done way before then, mate. Well, um, I'm aware. Sega's cancelled um, Hyenas, which we already knew about. This is Wesley in Pool from IGN. Formerly Eurogamer, I believe. I can't remember. See, I know that because of this show, by the way. It is though. It's whatever. What do you, what do you want a medal? Yes, I do actually. I pay attention. Um, Jam, you were on. Do you remember what? hyenas? What? That Sega, like group shooty game that Neil Blomkamp had some fucking say in the story. Do you remember? Apparently, it was and I quote Sega's highest budget game ever, and they cancelled it. There's a vague memory of. That. <laughs> yeah, it looked a bit weird. Um, so Sega's cancelled Hyenas, the multiplayer extraction shooter in development at UK Studio Creative Assembly. Um, why you would get Creative Assembly to do a fucking extraction shooter, I have no idea, because they are famous for... My mind's gone blank, so I'm going to have to check. Oh, fine. Did you hear that? No, I don't want to. <laughs> if instead. Yeah, like, the, many, the Total War games... And shit like that. Why you'd get them on fucking like a Rainbow Six style game? It fucking baffles me. Ed, like, why would you, why would you do that? And then now, now the crown has been cancelled anyway. But given the reaction, I imagine you weren't having any interest in it. Um, so he goes on. Issuing a warning to investors that it will record a loss for the financial year. Sega said profitability has been lowered mainly in Europe bases, end quote. As a result, it has implemented structural reforms aimed at increasing efficiency. Uh, and in development games, uh, and reviewed in development games, uh, we have made the difficult decision to cancel some titles under the development as well as to reduce the fixed expenses. The Sega, uh, you know, they're, they're paying a close eye on the ins and outs, you know what I'm saying? Um... But I won't worry for Sega. Sega Sammy are chilling, you know what I mean? Um Bamish, what's your favourite Sega game? Oh god. Oh I'm, bought, I'm putting you on the spot here, mate. Jam can you answer that question or not? Uh like Treats of Rage or something uh, like that, or is Aria it? game. What? Afterburner. Uh, not Outrun. Outrun two. Outrun two. Out Outrun two thousand six coast to coast. The greatest game ever yeah, made. Yeah, 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 it's great. It's so good, mate. It's but, but so not good. console, arcade machine. Yeah. But you can't really fit an Outrun 2 machine in your house, unfortunately, so the console game might have to do sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, well, I suppose. Keeping you up, mate. Yeah, you are. That's but, what yeah, mine is. Um, what's yours? No. Comic Zone. No, not Comic Zone. Streets of Rage better than Comic Zone. Streets of Rage is better than Comic Zone. Um, New Age 2 is good. Skies of Arcadia. Uh, yeah. I think Afterburner is my boy. Shenmue 1 for the time, Shenmue 2 for the time is good. Crazy Taxi, like you say, and all that. Um, Crazy Taxi, yeah. I fucking miss Old Sega, mate. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, and Persona is great and all that shit, which is the just shit they publish. But fuck me, man. Bayonetta 1. Let's go, mate. 
Anyway, uh, a source close to the Creative Assembly told IGN the entire Hyena studio now faces redundancy, which is shit. Uh, but staff expect massive cuts across the company. Staff were told the news this morning, September 28th, uh, at the same time Sega issued its statement. Where was this? Yeah, okay, this is a few weeks old, but they still go on. Um, let me get a more recent article up. Do you know what I'm saying? No. Why not, mate? Good to game. That is you. Good you are. Uh, the bear. Jam. What should it say? A console. Uh, Master System Two. The Master System Two. Not the Dreamcast. Yeah. Never had one. Why not? Never had a Mega Drive either. Yeah. Well, anyway, since they've had the, um, I forgot to pull up this article. Sorry. Since they've had the, the redundancies, they've restructured everything and. Sega have since confirmed that hyenas are, sorry, Creative Assembly are going to go back on to what they do the best, the RTS nonsense games, which, goody. Um, you like RTSs, Fame Bridge, don't you? What the hell are they? Real time strategies, no. mate. Oh, yeah, I don't mind them. But, uh, have you played any of the Total War games? No, not really. No, Jam, I know you like them, Jam. I've never played them. Come on and conquer. You know Oh, I thought you said Total War. No. Oh, yeah, I, I like RTS. RTS. Have you not played any Total I'm War? I'm not no? massive. It's specifically... Specifically Command and Conquer because it was what you played when you were growing up. And is that, is that fair? War. And what? There's an advanced war. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. And um, if you really want to go that far, you Mario Rabbids, I suppose you played that for a bit, and XCOM. Yeah, the new one was 15 quid. I nearly dipped. I nearly dipped. But I was like, I'll leave it. Um... So during the financial presentation, CEO Haruki Satomi again says, uh, blah, blah, blah. "The developer working on a genre it didn't know well enough resulted in the game's cancellation and a number of redundancies. Um, whose fault was that?" Shut up, Gims. Yours. Each studio has its own strengths and weaknesses, but the favourable wins of the early COVID-19 period, coupled with the strong performance of each title, led us to adopt a strategy of accelerating more, even in areas where those studios have not yet tried yet to form yet for further growth. Quote. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, no. No. Why, mate? Why? <laughs> it's, I mean, Total War, whatever's coming out soon. Whether it be as good with a lot of the staff gone, I don't know. Um, but, you know, fingers crossed. Everything's all, everything works out okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, lads, we're moving on. Or what? Do yeah. you have anything to add on that? Or? No. No, good. Bainbridge. Yes, mate. Have you ever played Dragon's Dogma? You know I have. Have you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I got it installed. I installed it last night. I got excited because the the showcase thing last night. Uh, and this is a game right up Jam Street. High fantasy, dragons, swords. What more does Jam want in a video game? Not much. I tell. Let me tell you. I'm not that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Dragon Dogma 2 will release March 22nd, which is a lot earlier than I thought it was. I've got to close the door. Give me two seconds. March 22nd. Um, Bamers, you get anything? Probably not. I ain't got to play not. the first one in the been out of years. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think I'm... Maybe not day one, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, there's a showcase you can watch. Just go on YouTube and say, show me the showcase of Dragon Dogma 2. They go in, um, let me just read it a bit. Head I do try with the Japanese pronunciations and I do apologise, they are terrible. Hideki Itsuno. That was probably incorrect, I'm sorry. Uh, the director of Dragon's Dogma 2 and Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. Right? That was good. Why are you asking me, mate? I don't speak Japanese. Mate, the game's producer that. that Yoshi is the game's producer. Uh, showed off new features coming to the sequel that include a huge new addition to the best bestiary. The Talos, a massive brass warrior who emerges from the sea. Developers showed varying approaches to taking the Talos down. Talos is actually um, Greek mythology. The big automaton or whatever it is. We've played Hades, that? have we? 
No, no, that's not in Hades. You're in Hades. I wish I was, mate. That'd be cool. Hades 2, mate. Are we... Oh, imagine the scenes. <coughs> we're watching the Game Awards live, by the way, while, while we're on the subject. We'll be on a, I don't think we're going to do a stream, but we're going to be sat on the Discord chatting, so if you fancy it, we'll be in there. At least me, at least I will. Because me and Jade love it, mate. You know what I mean? Um... Would it tell, uh, tell us down by leaping onto it from a close surge and firing it while holding for dear life. A la Shadow of the Colossus. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Riding birds towards the Talos to close the distance to it. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Capcom also showed off a new vocation, the Trickster. That, is it pronounced Arisen or Arisen? I can never remember. It's Arisen, I think. Arisen. That Arisen I know he has Arisen. You have Arisen to you know what, mate. Um, that is I don't know mate uh, Arisen of the character class can use a sensor in battles to conjure illusions causing enemies to fight each other and to support players pawns blah 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 um, I could go on I could go on it looks very good um, let me show you a bit of forge I'm going to steal a bit of forge from the uh, where, where they fight and everything yeah yes. You know what I'm saying? Oh. We shall hold it together. Is that not Shadow Classes? No. I mean, it is. It seems to me there are plenty of places our feet might find purchase on its whole king's Yeah, brain. we'll see. Right up Jam Street, this game, mate. Definitely. Let us do yes, Whatever a million percent. There's character like customization, course there is, and all that shit. Um. Bainbridge. A puppet with a poncho for. Are you just going to play Skyrim again then? Or are you going to, um. I don't know. Why? I'll, I'll probably go back to it. I've started the save. I need to finish it, you know. <coughs> we, we all need to finish Skyrim. No one ever actually does, mate. I've probably done it like two times in total throughout my many playthroughs. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. That's um. It. Jam, so are you going to get the super special edition day one? Blah, blah, I've blah, already blah, it. I know you have, mate. Um, moving on. Do you have anything to add on Dragon's Dogma? Oh, it would be good. Have you ever played it? No, you know I haven't, mate. <laughs> it's a running joke at work, Jam, because about every day for a week, Bainbridge asked me the same question. And do you never oh. guess what? It was the same answer every time. You, you mean how uh, you keep asking me for like the past three weeks when's my mate, interview and when's it's tomorrow the interview? tomorrow mate, huge day 11. be there or be square I'm pro I've got to be honest with you Bainbridge I'm probably not going to be there well that's just one as much, I, as much as I would love to sit there mate and just chill Kibo says ask him if Skyrim is wank this that's is what Bainbridge says word. it's not wank you just crap at it and then Gibbo says well, uh, I was going to say something about him being so par but that's what know, I'm that, just said it doesn't matter forget it um, Jam yeah <laughs> your controller is getting released now mate uh, the temptation I can't drop 100 I, I'm taking the piss are it. you being serious what hey, would you would you get one of these uh, mate if, if it wasn't 150 quid and it was like maybe I don't know like 80 so if it was give there or thereabouts the price of an actual controller ish because you've got a yeah imagine. I understand that one is a limited run it's some known artist that's done it I mean to be fair, no no disrespect to the artist on the PlayStation one <laughs> that's what I would have done <laughs> we could have done that yeah that's, that's what we would have done yeah that's what I would have done if, the if I got commissioned to do that the, the Xbox one's pretty yeah it is cool no it wasn't commissioned apparently he did the mock up. And they were like, yeah. Yorkshire Tea. Yorkshire Tea got they got loads of likes for it. Yorkshire Tea was like, they're doing some meetings, and then they made it a reality. Huh? And there's like a special box that comes in with a certificate of authenticity and stuff. That's. I don't know how many they're making. I imagine that's where the the price comes from. If it is it like a limited number, like a, a it, known yeah, limited number. Yeah, I imagine they'll be doing a limited number of them. Yeah. They come in every thousand bag of tea. There you go. Yeah. In the supermarkets. I'll do. I'll easy get one then. Froudy's here. Hi, George. <laughs> Baby, I'm in ready, mate. Always living ready. 
Help. I'm not. Are you being serious? I, I genuinely, not, you're not joking. You didn't get this controller. If it wasn't 150 quid, I'd be all over that stuff, yeah. Yeah. Um, I will buy you two. Please There's do. an Xbox One for those that care. The Xbox One's nice, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. This little pattern. Oh, mate, I'm about it. I'm, I've got tailors on it as well. There you go, mate. Uh, uh, jam. Why? Why what? Just why? Oh, there's a fucking box. VGC. Always, always rely on VGC. Who is it? Jordan Midler, the beautiful Scotsman. Um, yes, yeah, about ninety quid more expensive, as Jam says, than an actual controller. But that box is cool, isn't it? Dang. I didn't like. I didn't like tea, mate. But that box is really cool. Do you not like tea? Oh, I love tea, and weird, I drink mate. that tea. Uh, imagine it, the moths here. Pinkney, mate. I had um. It comes with a box of tea. I hope it does, mate. I hope there's like a tea bag in that box somewhere. Do you know what I'm saying? Tea bag. <laughs> Jam. No, Bainbridge. Yes, mate. You ever played Time Splitters? Time Splitters. Oh, fuck off. I've heard of it. Oh, don't. What? Jam. Bainbridge. Are you? Are you lying? It's, it's outside, mate. Oh, no, I have heard of it. Never played it though. Hey. Adam's streaming. Gibbo's streaming. Jam's streaming. I'm a bit annoyed, to be honest. Jam. Hey. Okay, what? Bainbridge, no matter. I'll start again. Uh, Jam, have you ever played Sand Players? Yeah, yes, of course okay, I've played cool. Sand um, Are you. W right there. Were you, like, getting a bit excited with the dangle of the carrot that um, uh, Embracer Group were getting free radical on it and they're going to yeah. be. A fresh um, game. Yeah, I well, I got some good. Well, I've got good news. I'm joking. I've got bad news, mate. Um, What's that? Jeffrey Russo from Games Industry Biz says, and I quote: uh, "Embracer to officially close Time Splitter Studio. Sources claim internal email shows Free Radical Design is on the pace to shut down on December the 11th." Well, that's not good. Yeah. Well, they've since. Since this article went up on the t yesterday, oh yesterday, um, the Embracer Group have since denied um, any sort of nonsense. But I'm, I'm sure we'll find out on December the 11th. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I'll mm -hmm. go fund. We'll go fund Dan Splitters two or three. We'll go two, but I like three a lot. Three doesn't get this credit it deserves. I think three was great. Time says two is not take one, yeah. Why? Because it's great. Oh, shut up, mate. Um, yeah, so we'll see if the line. Bainbridge, do me a favour. Yes, mate. Go and play Thanks, please. However. You, I will not. Bill Jam, I will. Why? Thanks, Just Bainbridge. Why? But it's something you need to. You owe it to yourself. You do owe it to yourself. One of the gamiest. Tr one of the best gaming trilogies out there. Yeah. Right, of of I mean, time. <laughs> uh, of time. Did you get it? Did you get it? I don't understand the reference, Jam. Can you explain it to me? No, we're joking, mate. Um, Very good games. Yeah. So we'll this see how it goes. This is one of the, the rarities where the sequels are better than the original. Fair enough. I mean... I mean... Is that true? Well, it, yes, it is. Are you sure? That's true for Jack and Daxter. That's true for SSX. It's true for Time Splitters. Gears of War. Going for total. It's just it's Jedi Survivor better than Full Nodder. Yeah. Is it's more the same but just Last of Us two better than one. Mm, I've got it, mate. I feel I've like I feel like that's subjective. Everything's subjective. Because like the, the last of <laughs> one was you're like, oh, there's these walky things that are bad, and let's kill all the zombie looking things to be infected ones. Yeah. And then two was really good for, okay, they're still around, but the beef is between the humans, and they just are. Yeah. That's what I like about Last of Us. The, the humans yeah. are the bastards. Well, the, yeah. the fucking monsters are bastards as well, but the humans are the, the, like, the bad yeah. people. Um, is Uncharted 2 better than 1? 
I don't want to yes. ask you that question. Of course it is. Just see I'm going with her. Yeah. Is Star Wars Empire Strikes Back better than New Hope? Yeah, but this is rarer in films, though, usually, isn't it? It is rarer. To be fair, it is rarer. Much, much rarer in films. But in video games, I feel like the second one's usually the game they wanted to make in the first place. Do you know what I'm saying? And they're testing the waters to get into the yeah. idea for this. Yeah, especially if it's a new IP. Yeah. That, that doesn't count, Adam. Fucking... Fable 3. We don't like Fable 3 round here, mate. We can get banned for that shit. Um, speaking of sequels that are never going to come out, <laughs> uh, Beyond, <laughs> I know where you go with this, Beyond yeah. Good and Evil is getting a 20th anniversary edition after it was mistakenly released early. Not released early, like shown off early um, on the Xbox store. This is uh, Jordan Middler again. Tom Ivan, as you see. Um, you played Beyond Good and Evil. Ask Bainbridge yeah. first. Go on. Throw me, Bainbridge. Have you played Beyond Good and Evil? No, never heard of it. Of course you haven't. Okay, Jam, have you played it? Yeah. Do you like it? I'm... Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, honestly, I probably haven't played it since the PS2 days. I've yeah, still I think I played it. Think. It got re-released on PS3. Or re... Oh, I don't fucking know, mate. HD remake, but probably. Yeah. I think I played it on 360, actually. Now I now. The last time I played it, I think. Um, yeah, so the tweet from the Beyond Good and Evil 2 official Twitter account. <laughs> Looks like the cat's out of the bag. Dang, nabbit. Uh, happy 20th anniversary, Beyond Good and Evil. While we cannot wait to show you more about the special edition, we want more comes in 2024. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, give us a bit more of a trailer. Yeah, got 10 years not ago. even a tra- don't even get a trailer for it. Um, yeah. I a question, James. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil Two uh, got sort of a shitty trailer in two thousand and eight. Oh, fuck, when was it? Put it in here. Twenty thirteen. I want to say pre twenty ten, but I can't remember. Um, what, we'll Beyond call it 20, No, it wasn't pre twenty. Fucking yeah. was, mate. No, the Beyond Good. The, no. The, remember the one. There. Let's find that out. I'm gonna fucking find ago. it. Um, will we see that game in our lifetime? Probably not. Why not? Well, no, why not? Because fucking, it's too ambitious for its own good, mate. Um, so it's not Knights of the Republic. That's just gone forever. Oh, <laughs> Where, where's that? Two thousand and eight. Eat shit, Jam. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Yes, it nah. was. Yeah, two thousand eight. Then they shut up for about <clears throat> other one. One trailer says 2008, one trailer says 2009. But I said pre-2010, so I'm right, so I'll be quiet. Um, the CG trailer for... No, no, the, no the, the, the CG one with the monkey was 2017. Okay, that, that, that's all then, then there was one after, then we've not seen it since. The, that's like 2018, yeah. and we've not seen it since. There was yeah. one <clears throat> which was more connected to the first game in 2008, but that looks like it's been canned a long time ago. Do you know what I'm saying? But I look forward to playing this. Speaking of remasters, I still need to play Super Mario RPG. But it is what it is. Do you know what I'm saying? I just do need to. <laughs> I never played the original. I don't have no, no real reason to play it. I don't really. It. I want to play I don't it. Feel like yeah, man. But um, I do want to play it. Yeah. Last but not least. Have you got anything to add on Beyond Good and Evil? Not really. No. Bainbridge of you. Hurry up. No. No. Last but not least, I put this one in for me. Um, a new trailer, gameplay trailer for Tekken Eight was released today. Have you seen it? No. No. Bainbridge, where's your cam? George says. <coughs> uh, I don't own one. He doesn't own one. Goodmans do Good not. Goodmans do not do web cameras, so therefore he does not own one. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um. That's for who it's for, Jim. I know who it's for. <coughs> Your Steve Fox. <laughs> I want to ask me if I'm buzzing as well. I actually am buzzing. I don't think you know this about me, Jam. Actually, you probably do. I fucking love Steve Fox, mate. Kibbo made me laugh earlier. He said, I hate it when Americans do British accents, and he's like, oh, hang on, he's voiced by a British person. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jam. 
I ask yeah. you this every time the second night trailer comes out, I ask you this question. When we were all playing second night. Seven. No. Don't try oh, and confuse. Yeah, the new mean. one. When we're all playing it, we're all whooping ass. We're all showing Gibbo up because he's some part of the game, mate. Right? I'll be in a real fight. Yep, yep, what? Like, cool. Street Fire. Yeah. Are you, no chance he's joining us. Probably not. When it. Are we talk, does it, is it going to take a sale or is it even then? Are you like, no? It One. took a Street Fighter character for me to it play actually seven. did. It actually did. Uh, the game comes out January 26th. Bainbridge, do you like Tekken? I've uh, played a couple of them. I'm not a big fan. I'm a big fan. I don't like stuff. I have to think about it. Shut up. Um, yeah, I, Why I ask like, me? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, just let me take the piss, yeah. I... I don't think you know this about what did my uncle who introduced me to Tekken 2 when he got a PlayStation 1 back in 90 when did Tekken 2 come out? 1999 no it didn't 1997 shut up 1995 right is that anything that doesn't sound right Tekken 2 yeah PlayStation Europe 96 so it's probably 97 by the time I played it Um Never from two to four or five, I was all over Tekken Jam. I don't think you'd understand. Um, I then used to play them a lot. When six come out, I sort of fell off a bit, and then Tag Two and all that shit. Um, three, I was, I played second seven. And I'm like, yeah, this is good, but I didn't play it. And then when you started playing it, why did you start playing it? Was it because of Akuma? And you're like, I fancy a bit of that. Yeah, well, Akuma was in it for a long, long time. That's what I'm saying. Why I did think you I got it? I, I think I got it cheap off of CD keys. Again, why? Oh, and I, I was like, oh, I'll get to play Tekken Bowling, and I didn't realise it was DLC. Right. Okay. Was that why then? Oh, right. Oh no, okay. no, it was PS Plus. But why did you play it? This is you've expressed no one ever since I've known you. It's fifth oh, fucking hell, fifteen, sixteen years. Yeah. No interest in Tekken at all. Well, the interest was before I met you. And you interest in fucking. I, I'm not even joking. My my favourite memories of playing the original Tekken was the side scrolling thing. Oh, from three. From three and beach volleyball. Yeah, from, from three again, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, three was Which legit. Is back in eight, though, isn't it? Three was legit, mate. Yeah, beach three volleyball was back in eight, legit. I'm not wrong. Um, I can't remember what I was asking you. Why my interest? Why did I yeah, play it? Why? I mean, well, I, anyway, I was the same. I was like, okay, second seven. I played the beta. I was like, yeah, that's good. I never bought it. Then when you started playing it, I jumped on it. Um, I, I was like, yeah, this is sick. I had a good time. Yeah. Um, I ended up platinum in the minute. Yeah. I got the I nothing. Um, I got my mains back. Steve Fox, Lee, Shao Lan, and all that shit. Oh, fuck yeah. I was all over it, mate. Um, I'm probably not day one because... Early next year is quite a busy time for me, you know what I'm saying? I've got stuff to do. And that is dangerously close to um, Rebirth, Bainbridge, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Right, good. Uh, lads, do you have anything to add to Tekken 8 or Tekken in general, or can I end the show? You do. Uh, cool. Do you have anything, Jam? No. Cool. Right, any unpopular opinions or anything? Actually, one one thing we haven't spoke about. We're not making show sure longer because we you, you didn't do the show last week. It's PlayStation Portal. Oh fucking hell! Yeah. And and the, all the shit it got before launch of how crap it is and stuff, and now all of a sudden everybody loves it. Mhm. Mm I've seen couple, people playing it on airplanes. It's, it's amazing what a couple of good reviews can do, Joe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm interested. It's, it's out of stock everywhere. I'm interested as someone that doesn't yeah. always get access to the TV with the PlayStations on. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whether I'm two hundred and fifty pounds interested. Two hundred pound, isn't it? Uh, I think it's two fifty. I'm not sure. I'm gone. Is it? I think so. Uh, it's, it's definitely two hundred fifty dollars. I'm not sure. It's two hundred fifty. Probably two hundred fifty pound as well. Uh, bye now. Let's have a go. Play this is from the PlayStation. Oh. I, I stand corrected, mate. I beg your pardon, Jam. You were right. Two hundred pound. <coughs> Where have I got two hundred fifty from? 
Maybe that's where people were selling it at, I'm not sure. Maybe. Do you, would you ever... Yeah. What what price would it have to be for you to jump in, Jim? I don't think it's a bad price now. It's not a bad price now. For what it is, like, if if it was... I know it's not its own, its own console, but if it was like, you can only play it in your house on the same Wi-Fi connection... Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's crap. But... Uh, I'm presuming the dude that's was on the plane, wasn't he? Have you seen that video? The guy on the plane, yeah, people, he's playing Spider Man. People, people are playing it on airplanes and stuff. As long as you've got air ref mode true. and you've got a Wi Fi connection, you're <coughs> good. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Your PlayStation 5 is at home connected to Wi Fi and on as well, is the main thing. Yeah. But yeah. Because um, I was a bit concerned it was just going to be like locally to the PlayStation. You, know, you couldn't really leave your house. Uh, and like, like it's a, it's a 1080p LCD screen, yeah. which is fine. Something that small, you're not going to really notice. Yeah. You don't need Ask 4K people, screen. That's like, small. Hey, 4K screen. It's like two inches big. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you don't need a 4K screen. That's, that's what small. she said. And people are like, oh, well, you just get a backbone. Well, one, why don't you be using your phone then? And your yeah, that's, I mean, why get a backbone? That's a better experience the than a backbone. I'll tell you now. The haptics are better. It's ergonomically better. And ha ha how much is a backbone? That's a hundred or hundred, hundred fifty, def at least hundred pound. Yeah, and then, I, I was looking and to get one for there. Pound. Yeah, but yeah. then you've got a bigger screen. You've got your haptics. Mm -hmm. The only I think the only downside of it that at the moment is Bluetooth support. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you can only use the proper expensive headphones, can't you, for the. You, you, stuff, can't, yeah. you can't just people put have your... already cracked it and used it. I have no, I, I, look, I have no doubt about it. You know what I mean, George, mate, you have to have your PS5 on and connected to the Wi-Fi yeah. for it to Stick work. It in rest mode. Yeah, put, put it. I think, yeah, they put it in rest mode. Um, is it? It's sold out, isn't it? Yeah, currently unavailable on the PlayStation Store. Bainbridge. Oh, yeah, it's just a weird thing that like, it's just gone from absolutely being no one wants it, it's crap to mm -hmm. oh my god, these things are amazing. Exactly, and the Pulse 3D wireless headset is eighty pounds. So if you wanted this and the headset, it'd be two eighty, which yeah. is a bit. That's a bit. Do you know what I mean? That's a bit much. Bamers, when you get a PS5, is there something you'd be interested in? I've never even heard of it, mate. Have you not? No, mate. I've been living <laughs> under a rock this like, past well, my entire life. Mate. Entire yeah. life, mate. We're gonna we'll learn you, mate. You know what I mean? You'll teach me. <laughs> I'll teach you English, mate. Yeah, Adam says you've never heard of a PS5. No, you couldn't learn me English if you tried, mate. Um, God, I hate you. Bainbridge, Jam. Oh. Are we, uh, anything else on, on the portal, Jam? Or? No. But um, I'm, I'm... Are you more interested no, now no. since you've seen it in the wild and people are enjoying it than you were when it first announced? Well, no, I I was never one of them. You, you, know, you know, I hate it, John. That's why. That's why. That's why you're a good. I lad. was. I, I. I mean, I definitely wouldn't be in a day one one, but now it's it's out in the wild and then people are now raving about it. Then, yeah, it, it, I'm like that hmm, FOMO, mate. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But again, it's like right. If I apply it to my life right now, it doesn't matter because my PlayStation Five is right there. Yeah, and you rarely... uh, this is where I sit most of the time. My telly's there, mm -hmm. so it, it'll be but dependent. So taking it to work, is my work Wi-Fi good enough? Then I can play PS. George is on it, mate. Right, James up, Bainbridge. Yes. Any unpopular opinions you want to share? No. No, so. you've got a lot no. of unpopular opinions, Bainbridge. I'm surprised at that, mate. Jam, have you got yeah, one? Yeah, majority of them are about you, mate. No, but uh, an unpopular opinion. Yeah, Bainbridge is the best Mario Kart player. That is world. unpopular opinion because it's wrong. No, it's correct. No, mate. No. Jam, you are too cute. Could barely beat the computer on 50 CC, mate. You got no chance. No, uh, no, okay. Right. Anyway, I'm off to go. Make some no, uh, you, you can't go yet, yet mate. mate. What do you mean? Because uh, if you leave, the, the screen would still live. We're still live. <laughs> the screen would go weird, and I'd have like me and Jam spread across three boxes. I mean, Just ten the minutes. Thing is, mate, ten minutes. The thing is, I feel like I've contributed a lot to this evening's show. Yeah, well, you're about to comp contribute a little bit more, mate, because we're at the point of the show where we do a forgotten gem. Should maybe bring a video game that's probably. Uh, 
as Come. Bainbridge is the guest. He Gone. In the wayside. No one talks about it more. We're going to bring it back and have a chat about it. Usually me and Jem just swap. Because you're the guest. I was hoping you would bring a forgotten gem to the table for us. A forgotten gem? Yeah. Oof. Like perhaps a game from... Dun, 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 when I say forgotten gem, I'm not. it doesn't have to be like an old Amiga game that's fucking shite. And no one's heard of. Just anything PS2 era, memory. PS3 era, even PS4 or 5 era if you want. Perhaps a game come out last year that's come and gone, no one's talking about it or... I feel like I'm back in my youth when I was like 10 A little whatever, whippersnapper, like, mate. Yeah, when I was on the PS2. Okay, I like that. I like the way this is going already. Come on, let's have it. Cell damage overdrive. I feel like underrated. Okay, I, I know what that is. Reason. I've heard of that as well. We usually have a bit more I'm here. build up for that. Oh, is it, mate? Um, Bainbridge. That's I play nice. cell damage. Wonderful. Um, it had a, re, a HT thing recently. I say recently. It was um, is Overdrive the second one, or is that what it's called? No, no, it's just called Cell Damage Overdrive. As far as I'm aware, but I, I remember it being a lot better when I was a kid. How uh, can it recently be? Recently played it this year and was like, <coughs> ah, well, this is the point. When you were a kid, it brought you so much joy. Do you know what I mean? And I, it's one of them, one of them games that age like milk. Age like milk. Yeah, I mean, we do love milk around here. Oh, yeah, I've, no, I've I played this. For, I played this Bainbridge. What did you love about it, mate? I just love how wacky it was. It's like wacky races, but like Mario Kart battle mode kind of thing. Yeah, do you know much, what I mean? Yeah. Have you ever played this? Do you know it? Uh, I know. I, I as soon as Bainbridge said that, I know it from the box art. I've yeah. Never played it, you never played it. I played it, mate. I, I was all over it. Um, Bainbridge, were you sweat at this as well? Probably, mate. Yeah. You know, back when I was ten, I was sweating at everything. You, you sweat everything now, mate. Hilarious. Um, yeah. You got a good at Mario Kart. I can't remember, mate. No one's good at Mario Kart. You just win. <laughs> <laughs> I know I do because you're shy. Mate, you fucking, mate. Did you cry? Oh, don't, mate. Don't. Um, this. I can't okay. remember this. I no, the, do you know you can't have like pluses? Like, do you know the Red Cross? It, the, the, the the icon health. for health it, in most video games is like a red cross. Do you know what I mean? If you had health, it's usually a box oh, with a red cross on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's protected by the Geneva Convention, you, you're not really allowed to use it and they can do you for it. Do you know that? Yeah, mad in it. I always thought it was just a symbol for health, but no. Whatever, man. It was cool. Yeah, Bainbridge. Did you play this with your friends or were you just spamming the computer? Nah, I was just spamming the computer. Yeah. I sometimes went up against my brother, you know, but. Oh, I'm gone. You've got a brother. I do, mate. Jam. Is his like name Andrew? No, it is not. That would have been well funny, mate. <laughs> that would have been yeah. well funny. Um, what's your brother's name? Why don't I know him? You, you don't know him. His name is Thomas. Why don't you come on the game with us? Because he doesn't have a PC. Does he have a PlayStation or a Switch or something? Yeah, he has a Switch, yeah, but he doesn't have Discord and he probably wouldn't like any of you. Especially Why? you. Not like Jam. Jam is lovely. <laughs> well, I'm a delight, mate. Like, maybe uh, we should come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Right, very much. What we also do as well, we also go on eBay and see how much uh, uh, like a original copy. Or I'll do. This I shouldn't have done this, mate. I've come on eBay, and the Pokemon card I was looking at after I've been paid has just appeared on the recently viewed items bit. And I'm a bit like, do I just get that? I'm doing that with a Guitar Hero controller at the moment. No, you're not, mate. I'm not the Yorkshire I'm going to show you. Mate. There's an Asia slash there for nine of the Queen's English pounds, but look how beautiful it looks. But you can buy it. I can't buy GameCube. it. So on the CEX, GameCube and Xbox is eight pounds, and PS2 is two pounds. Yeah. You can get, on eBay. You can get it on eBay for less than a fiver. That's what we like to see. Nice game, less than a fiver. Middle of the road, definitely middle of the road, but it's it, 
Yeah, he'll have a good time. Right, four controllers in front of four people. They'll have a great time. No questions well, that's asked. Ten minutes, and then they'll get bored. Well, yeah. you will. You tend to do it a lot, mate. But um, it is what it is, <laughs> gentlemen. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. If you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to do all that good stuff. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Give yourself a medal because you've lasted this long. One hour and ten minutes. We appreciate you very much. Um, don't forget, game of the year, a week tomorrow. What time? About eight o'clock. Mm, about eight o'clock, Jam, something like that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, something like that. We'll um, do a thing. Jam's doing a video on his top ten, his personal top ten. I will join him. Mine will be out like, uh, mid to late December. And I'll just tell you how my opinion's correct and you can just get some good stuff. It's funny, because I've already done the beginning of mine. I'm pretty sure I said it. The casual reports one is wrong and this one's correct. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I'll get there. Um, um, yeah, so tune in for that, or watch it on YouTube, or just look at the nice JPEG Jam's going to make for me when it's finished. Um, mate, I'll put the jacket on for the top ten show. I might even wear a tie for that, mate. It's a big occasion for us. Um, got me to as well. If you've got one, mate. If you've got one, it's the, the, yeah. one, the one day a year you wear a tie is the top ten. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's a prestigious yeah. event, mate. That will be the last proper show of 2023. Um, but again, with the Game Awards around the corner, I've got a horrible, not horrible feeling. I've got a bloody good feeling there's going to be a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer. Probably going to see Sid. Probably going to see me chat about it for an hour on here. On here as in YouTube, not Twitch. Um, yeah. And then obviously over Christmas, I'll probably do a few. Game streams, something. I don't know I will. what. Are you, are you streaming over? Are you, yeah. Are, are you doing that stuck over like Christmas, Jam? Or are you, you're going to stop for a bit? Or are you chilling? Or what? No, no. I'll, I'll be. I'll be streaming here. Twitch.tv/slash Jam. Or is it? Is there, is there an underscore? I always forget, Jam. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think there is. Yeah. Jam. Okay. Cool. We are going to raid um, a beautiful friend of ours. Mr. Brook. Oh, he's still on. What a legend. Brook is going to play Warcraft. Well, Bro oh, sorry, Brook is playing Warcraft. Um, Warcraft. We're going to raid him in a second, so stick around for that. Um, yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Peace. And we'll see you next time for the official Game of the Year. Game of the Century, I'd say. Uh, game of the Century. We're not doing the Game of the Year next year. We're just doing the Game of the Century. Game of the Century. The it's finished. Next we're just going to quit and spend our Twitch money. Rolling yeah. candy cigarettes because we can't afford real ones, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. but keep it real, Bainbridge, been a pleasure, Jam, been a pleasure, everyone in the chat, keep it real, up the toffees. <laughs>